in our shear plane into this diagram here, we'll notice that our force acting on the area above the shear plane is only going to account for this part right here, F plus Vf. So you can see that if we lower the shear plane, there's going to be a greater force because there's going to be a greater force because the area above the shear plane is going to be greater. So you're going to have to account for all the force above wherever the shear plane is. If the shear plane is at the very top, there's no force above it, and there's no area above it, so you're not going to have any shearing stress or any shearing force. So basically, if your shear plane is at the centroid, your shear force is going to be the greatest. Your shear stress is going to be the greatest. If it's at the top, it's going to go to zero. The sum of the forces over the area above the cross section, excuse me, above the shear plane, acts at the centroid of that area. And if we draw a cross section of our beam, we add in our shear plane, we add in the centroidal axis or neutral axis, this is our shear plane, and so we have a force, it's actually acting this way into the board, so I guess I can draw that, right at the centroid, into the board, and we know that this force that's acting on the area above the shear plane, which is, it's the force, so this is the force acting on the area above the shear plane, that's going to equal our shear force, which is the force acting, coming out of the plane. And those are equal. And so we can say that knowing what we know about the bending stress, we know that our normal stress is going to equal our force over the area, and the area that we're speaking of is this area above the shear plane. And we know that this force, now let's observe the relationship between the force applied over the area above the shear plane, which is the force into the board, in relation to the bending stress. And so we have our force equals our stress times the area. We know that our force is equal to the sum of the forces over the entire area, and we know that that's going to equal our shear force coming out of the board. And we know that bending stress associated with that force is equal to the moment 
m times the distance from the centroid over our inertia. And we'll recall that our moment at that point is dm. So our stress equals dmy over i. And also our area is going to equal the entire all the the entire area over which the force is acting. So if we make our substitution, you can substitute in After we make our substitutions, we observe that dm over i is constant at any at any point along a beam. This is i is the um, is the moment of inertia about the centroid of the cross section, and our moment is determined from the shear moment diagram. And but our y varies from uh, or basically. Our y varies depending on 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 how far up or down we want to be looking for our depending on how far up and down our shear plane is. So how we recall that y dA equals Q, which is our, our for, uh, which is our moment of the area. Which is our first moment about the neutral axis, and we recall that v equals dm dx. So dm equals v dx. Now, if we clean up our equation a little bit, we substitute in v dx for dm. over i, and we substitute in q for y dA. Um, our equation is starting to look very good, because we're able to find v from the shear bending moment diagram, we're able to find i from the cross section, we're able to find q from the cross section. So in, in order to simplify the equation more, we're going to recall the, the first shear force equation that we developed and well we actually developed the um, the shear the shear stress and we said that the shear stress equals the shear force divided by the width of or divided by the area of the sliding plane which was dxt and so if we solve for h, we have that h equals the shear force times the area, dxt. And so if we set these two equations equal to each other, we get tau dxt equals v dxi times q. So we get our shear equals VQ over IT. And, and from there we can take it one step further. 